Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden here with Renia Foil Paper today. I am super excited about today because I've been going around and thinking about different things I can show you guys how to do with this fabulous paper. And one of the questions that I often get is, you know, I really like the paper, but you can't use it like you can with regular paper in that you can't stamp on it. And I'm here to tell you that you can and you can do it with something other than just our ghost ink if you want to add color so we're going to do that today we're going to add i'm going to make kind of a rainbow effect on this silver star struck sheet and then i'm also going to use this gold um just the regular glossy texture out of the magical variety pack and we're going to stamp something with this and then i'm going to do a little bit of a technique with this. So let's just jump right into it first. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a card front. So this paper is the, um, it is great. It's the artist pack and it is four by six. It's perfect size for cards. And it's just, you can put this on a five by seven front card base and you are good to go. I'm using the Starburst Sentiment set that Rania has out. Um, there's a couple little sentiments in it. Today I'm gonna to be using the Happy Birthday. And on this, I want to be using the Stazon Shamrock Green. I'm going to be using the Stazon Shamrock, excuse me, the Piano Black. I'm also going to be using some snowflake white. Yes, 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 you can do white on this. And I have off over here some other colors that work, but I don't think I'm gonna be using them on this, but we have cloudy sky. Again, we have a jet black. We have like a red claret, and then we have a midnight blue. And we're gonna be using some of these colors in our next technique. So for this one, it is just straight stamping. So I like to start off with the smallest first, and I'm going to be putting down some snowflake on this. So I like to just take and dab up my stamp like so. And I'm just gonna be placing some random spots for this. And it's important when you're doing this that you also stamp off of the paper because that just makes it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. So I'm gonna do five of these, like so. All right, and then from here, you do wanna take some stays on ink remover, the stamp cleaner on this because stays on is made for non-porous surfaces. So it will stick to your acrylic paper and then you just are gonna rub it off the best that you can. I don't care if I don't get it all off because it's not gonna transfer. So I'm going to be using some shamrock green this time. Dab, dab, dab and I'm just going to start to place this over. This will be permanent when it dries, and um, I am doing this on a foam backing. The reason is because if I do it on just on a hard surface, there's no cushioning, because this is an acrylic clean foam stamp, and I will not get that beautiful clear stamped image that I'm getting. Okay, so from here, actually I'm gonna add in another two. I like to work in odds and I can actually layer that on. Like this one did an overlay on top of that white. And then let's just do one more right about there. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my sentiment, which is happy birthday, and I'm gonna do this in the black. And I just wanna clean that. Something else you guys can keep in mind is let's say that you have three stamps or two stamps and only one acrylic block, you can totally just do what I do and use both sides of the block. And you don't have to keep removing the stamp sets. That's something that's really helpful as well. Okay, so for this one, 
This is Happy Birthday. I'm using Piano Black on this, like so. And I'm just going to place this one randomly in some spots. I really love how this stays on works with this paper. This is the only ink I think I know of that does work with this paper. It will dry. Now, it will take a little bit of time to set up, but that's okay. You know, it would do the same thing if it was on glass or on something that was a slick surface. That's to be expected with this paper. So don't despair, just set it aside, or you can take your heat gun to it briefly. But once it is set, it is set, it's not moving, and that is how you can stamp images on your beautiful foil paper for a unique pattern, all your own for your project or your card. Let's move on from here to how to create a background paper. For this technique, I'm going to be using a piece of the silver star struck Rhenia foil paper. And I did cut it down. Normally this comes in about a six by 12 size. I did go ahead and cut it down. When I do my background pattern papers, what I like to do is do my background first and then trim it down to size later for whatever I'm using because I am going to go off the page. For this technique, since I am using a permanent ink, you need to make sure that you either don't care about your surface that you are working on or simply put something underneath of your substrate. So for me, I'm just putting this piece of scratch paper underneath my substrate, even though, but if it happens where I get a little bit through the holes onto my workspace, this is the, um, Best Matte by Ken Oliver. I know that I can get it up with some stays on ink remover. So not all is lost. For this technique, what we're going to do is we're just going to do some simple swiping motions. And I want to create kind of a rainbow effect with this. So I'm going to start at the top with some Midnight Blue. And I am just actually, I'm just going to swipe it I was going to go down this way, but I think I'm going to go across like this. And I'm just going to swipe it across like that. And you can still see that beautiful silver under, which is perfect. That's what I want. Now I'm going to skip a spot because I do want this to set up as to not cross contaminate my, um, my ink pad because again, it is a slick surface. When it dries, it'll be dry for good, but we have to let it dry. And I could, you can hit this with a heat gun for a couple seconds, but if you hit it for too long, it can boil and do things. And we don't want that. So this time I'm going, my color in between is going to be green. And my color after that is going to be this piano black. So I'm going to run this piano black down like so. And again, I love how it's picking up that embossed image. So pretty. And then from here, I'm going to do the gray and then I'm going to do the red. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside for now. And actually, I kinda of wanna go over and make this black a little bit thicker. There we go. And from here, I want to take my red and I'm going to run this one along the bottom, like so. All right. And I'm just going to, not quite dry yet, so I am going to take my heat gun and just hit it for a couple seconds to get it dry so that I can go ahead and lay my next color down and see how fast I do this. Do you notice how I don't hold it all in one spot? And that's to preserve the integrity of my foil paper. But this is now dry. I can't get anything up, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this shamrock green 
and rub it across like so. And see, nothing came up on my ink pad. And then for this one, I'm going to add some cloudy sky which is a gray. And there you go. So now you have a piece of paper that you are can cut down and I am going to trim this down and put it on a card base and use it on a project. So you could also, I can show you another technique on the back, you can also take it and just swipe it across and do it real light like so and um i will use i kind of want to use that jet black um so for this one and then let's do some of this one so think about the different ways that you can color a background paper and then color it. Now this stays on ink. This kind is a little bit quicker drying than the pigmented one I'm noticing, but once it's dry, it's dry. So just keep that in mind. And then we will go ahead and finish it off with this piano black pigment. All right, so there's a couple different ways to use the ink. And again, I like to do this technique with the star burst because you can see the stars right through it. Really cool. And then this is how you stamp. Okay guys, if you're interested in any of these products in the Rhenia foil paper, please visit the shop link down below. And also make sure you check out the stays on link I have provided down below. To see the finished projects up close and personal, go ahead and visit my blog. I am www.betsgolden.com. I'm going to have those over there as well. And I certainly would love it if you would subscribe to the Renia channel. Give this video a thumbs, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any questions or comments down below and I will make sure that we get those answered for you. Until next time, happy crafting.